Hello and welcome to another match day here on One Team Air Show. Tonight it's a big one, it's Aberdeen in the Scottish Cup 5th round replay. So a 0-0 draw up at Putodji earlier in the month. Hopefully we can get the job done this time. Let's head along to Rugby Park and find out. Well, what can you possibly say um, about that game? To be honest, at the end of the match, I was completely lost for words how we can, you know, be on the the brink of victory so many times and manage to snatch defeat from it is unbelievable. Overall, I think the performance was, was good throughout most of the game um, and it was the, the key moments, the key decisions um, that lay us down in that one. You know, a mistake for for the Aberdeen uh, equaliser to go away that free kick, a really needless free kick from Gary Dicker uh, to give away on the, or El McQueenie rather, on the edge of the box. Um, and then, you know, they, they scored a really sloppy goal uh, within the first couple of minutes of extra time. Not a great goal to concede, but credit to us, we got back into it. Brophy with a fantastic free kick. He had missed chances earlier on. Uh, in the game, so uh, credit to him for, for keeping his, his confidence and his head up and, and burying that free kick. Fantastic goal. Um, and then just when it looked like uh, it was going to go to, to penalties, up, up popped Kabamba uh, to, to to tap home from a couple of yards. And it looked like, you know, that would be the winner. Crazy scenes in the stands. And it looked like, you know, we were going to progress to the last day, get the, the best of Aberdeen eventually. But uh, we should have known it was too good to be true. And uh, typical Kelly fashion, uh, we managed to, to bottle it and throw it away. Um, for some reason, you know, Aberdeen have this psychological edge over us that's that's indescribable and um, it's something that needs worked out. But, you know, the penalty, a silly challenge 
from Stuart Finlay, absolutely unnecessary. Um, and Sam Cosgrove does what he does best and tucks it away. And then um, the winning goal again from a mistake. Stephen O'Donnell should really uh, go and close the box, close the man down on the edge of the box. Anki thinks that it's going to run out of, of play and out for a goal kick, but uh, it doesn't. And, and he puts it in and uh, Johnson doesn't really have a, a whole lot of options uh, where to put the ball. So um, an absolute calamity towards the end. Just can't hold on to a lead in, in key moments and that's something that Alex Dyer is going to have to look at. But if you take the positives from it, uh, you know, we, we still scored three goals. You know, scoring goals isn't a problem for us anymore. And uh, I thought the performance overall was, was good. I don't think Aberdeen really had that many chances outside of of the ones that they scored and I think we, we limited them so um, positives to take but yeah this at this moment is it's really disappointing and um, really really frustrating so uh, it doesn't get any easier onto onto Celtic Park on, on Sunday uh, facing the champions so it's going to be difficult but um, you know the league is our priority now trying to get into the top six and trying to pull away from the teams below us so still plenty of work to do um, and hopefully you know, we can, we can head to Celtic Park and try and get something.